an individual by the name of, I won't mention him, not worth it. <laughs> he knows who he is if he comes back to the channel. But he made a statement that as of March 13th of 1991, all apartments were ADA compliant. What do you think? <laughs> all wheelchair users, put your notes down below. If you think all apartments as of March 13th, 1991 are all compliant now and we can get any apartment that we wish <coughs> because they're all compliant. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> we all know, those of us who are wheelchair users, first of all, we're not complaining. We're saying something and we're trying to make noise because they're not all compliant. Because the apartments and where we live and the state we live in or the province we live in are not compliant. And yes, it affects us. And no, we're not just whining. And if it, the landowner or the landlord is open, I mean, you know, if he's not open, there's a problem. But we're not whining. I don't feel like I'm whining. If I'm see searching an apartment and, you know, it says it's, it, it's, it's ADA compliant, but it's ADA compliant for someone who is blind, that doesn't help me because I'm in a wheelchair. <laughs> See, there's different types of ADA compliant. And this individual did not do his re research, did not look up the records, did not hear us in our problems, does not know a thing about the ADA or searching apartments as a disabled person. I doubt He's a person who has any disability whatsoever. He might be a landlord, and I'm saying to the landlords, it's way past 1991. If you have an apartment, do your research and listen to the ADA as to what they are asking you to do, because not all apartments are ADA compliant. They're not. So, um, because they don't want to invest the money because th they don't see any people with disabilities who need the apartments, so they're not gonna change anything. And bingo, somebody shows up with a disability. So, no, Jeff, <laughs> you gave the wrong answer. You complained about something that I already researched. You did not do your research, and so you gave an incorrect answer. And so, um, <laughs> It's ridiculous how the people who throw out ableism right out in front of us, and they don't know what we have gone through to find an apartment that's ADA compliant, and landlords who do not want to make the changes because that's too much money for them, and blah, 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 and make a whole stink, and then we have to go to the court and say, hey, I really wanted this apartment, but this landlord is not complying. That's what we go through. Would you want to go through the courts every time you need an apartment because it's not compliant? You know, those are the problems that we run into. And yes, I did my investigation of the case. And yes, I looked up the percentages. And yes, I did my research. You, Jeff, you did not do your research. So bad boy. <laughs> You're a bad boy. So if you're a landowner, a landowner and you're compliant, blessed be God forever. But if you're not compliant and you think that we're going to continue whining about every little thing, no. <laughs> you should put yourself in a wheelchair for a month and see what life is like for us. But anyway, that was an answer that was given. It is, uh, it is no longer <laughs> posted. But maybe Jeff will come back and, and if he does his research. You know, anytime someone gives a response, you know, out of the top of their heads that is incorrect and did not show their research, did not show, you know, you know they didn't even post 
who they were, you know, but please, people, if you're going to post an answer, you know, this is for people who have disabilities, who are in a wheelchair, who are in pain and struggle every single day from the time they get up, from the time they go back to bed. And so if you're going to give an answer, for Pete's sake, you know, for it to be good for you to do your research and put a correct answer, you know, because this is to serve people with disabilities. This is a, a channel to serve people in wheelchairs. And I'm very careful at the answers I put out there. I do my research first and I make sure that it is all is correct. I put in links for you all to look at other channels, to look at other web pages so that you can get my, my perspective but the perspective of someone else. So you can, you know, compare and contrast. So this channel, we don't play around with, with answers. We don't, I don't play around with, you know, putting out a video with information that's, that's not gonna serve you at all. No, I'm putting out videos, I do the research, I ask myself a question, I go out there and I do my research and the statistics and everything else, then I make the video. <laughs> You know, because I don't know it all. I'm in a wheelchair, but I have my own life, you know, and it might not be the same as yours or yours or yours. You know, all, all our, our lives are different. Our disabilities are different, and I want to respect that. But to lash out and say, oh, no, all apartments since March 13th, 1991 are compliant, eh, wrong answer. <laughs> that's not our experience so sorry Jeff <laughs> that was the wrong answer do your research before you post something like that all right folks this was a short video I just wanted to do a blast out as an advocate for people with disabilities obviously this person was not an advocate it was just a whiner so <laughs> so um yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, take care, be safe, and I'll see you in the next one.